Ithaca, we're Anthropic from Buffalo. Hope you're digging what you heard so far. We got a couple more for you. All right, this one's False Flag. Oh, God. 
anyone who can hear me. We are here exposed to a genocide in the besieged city of Aleppo. More than 50,000 of civilians who rebelled against the dictator Al-Assad are threatened with field executions or dying under bombing. <laughs> for you. Take a little breathe, blast beat breather. Thanks for staying up so late with us, everybody. <laughs> this one's trapped. Brand new. <laughs> Victimized.
There are about 140,000 people uh, in the United States who are serving life without parole sentences. The number of people serving life without parole sentences in Western Europe is 12. These very long sentences uh, that are being served is a very unusual feature of American criminal justice. They serve very little public safety at all. song it's called outage it's a brand new song and uh make sure to like us and check us out on facebook and, uh, and instagram my well, not my space we should can we still make a myspace page oh maybe we should we should look into that still think it's going to come back around thanks again for having us yes guys. big thanks guys i know you've been doing this a long time it's an honor thank you without a doubt all right last one this is outage Anthropic. That was new and right now in the studio we have Anthropic. Say hello. Hi. Hello. hello. How's it going? And what do you who are you and what do you do in the band? Um, Jim the drummer. Brian guitars. Chris vocals. Ross bass. All right. And how long has this been a thing? About two years. About two years. With what this, a, with this configuration. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Was it still Anthropic before this configuration? Yes. So how long has Anthropic been a thing? About three and a half years. Okay. All right. Who started it? I did. All right. Are you, are you going to apologize? For what? <laughs> For starting it? <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> Was it intentional? <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. And you guys have been in a ton of other bands. Oh, yeah. Some, yeah. Oh. Some of us have. Some, yeah, some, some of them <laughs> have. This is my first band. Yeah. I've never, 43 years old. This is my first band. So... <laughs> Been, been wanting to do this for a long time. But, well, yeah. And he's a hardcore kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even a, a metal guy, grind guy, anything. I'm like, a hardcore kid, so Brian's <laughs> like, hey, you have yeah. a deep voice. You want to give this a shot? I'm like... He is now. We brought him to yeah, the so. so, Yeah, yeah. You, you, you <laughs> do it well. I'm officially changed over. So. <laughs> and what about the rest of you? Other bands you've been in? Uh, back in the 90s, I was in Immortal Terror, uh, Buffalo's first grindcore band, and then just little 
I took off for many, many, many years. Mm. Certainly. Kids, his kid was sleeping out yeah, there. Yeah, my while kid we was sleeping playing. out there while we were jamming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, um, one of them. And you? Yeah, I've been doing this a long time, man. Um, almost 30 years now <laughs> nice. I've been at this. Uh, it started by, way back in 90 with grotesque infection, organism, uh, headstone missionaries, uh, stem, evil eye virtue, dark apathy, uh, three stem, minutes of hate. I mean, st- I stem seems to stand out of that. that yeah, kind of stem. Thing. I was in stem for the first seven years. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We played early stem. Right on. <laughs> and uh, you? Nope. This is really about it. Oh, this is it. Yeah. Okay. He wow. just did other stuff for the metal community. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yes. You, are you the one that wrote the book? Yes. Okay. Tell us about the book. <laughs> Come on, Brian. <laughs> Every time I put the microphone in Brian's face, he's like, get that thing away from me. So this is your time, Brian. <laughs> me and my friend Alan from Australia put it together. It's just old pictures from 84 up to 91 with stories right from the bands of those days of the early death metal scene. Nice. That's really cool. Where can people get that? That's been sold out for a few years now. Oh. Yeah. Glorious times. Drop yeah. the name, Brian. Drop the name. <laughs> you just did. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you going to reprint it at any point? I doubt it. Ah, okay. <laughs> so people can probably find it used if they look. Maybe. Every now and then one pops up, but it usually goes for like 60, bu- 60 bucks for mm-hmm. 100 bucks. For it. So clearly it's, it's a desired object. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should put it out digitally. Maybe. All right. So t- tell us where the name Anthropic comes from. Originally, I thought of the Anthropic Principle, okay. but bands already used that, so I just dropped it under Anthropic, and that wasn't used, so we stuck with that. Okay, and uh, who? So, who was in the band originally of this grouping? Just me. Just you. Okay, and you're from Buffalo. Yep. I don't think we said that. And um, you handed me a CD. Is this the only CD, or do you have a few? That's the newest EP. Okay, EP. Right, because they're short songs. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm looking at it going, but there's like 10 songs on here. Yeah. Tatanka. Why Tatanka? I'm, sh- I'm, sure it's not, I'm sure it's not about the wrestler. No. Uh, <laughs> basically, with us being uh, from Buffalo, it's uh, Tatanka is the Native American word for Buffalo. Oh, okay. And uh, in Iroquois, yeah? Uh, Lakota. And in Lakota, it's uh, one that rules over us as well. So okay. we just kind of... You know, and obviously the cover that has the rotting buffalo head, which we mm-hmm. kind of, uh, I'm a huge buffalo guy. Buffalo is it for me. You know, I I lived the way in Virginia and Connecticut and everything, and buffalo is, that's it. So we were trying to come up with the title, and it's like, you know what, we got this rotting buffalo head. Our, uh, our buddy Juan in, in Ohio made that up for us real quick, and uh, it's just kind of, you know, let's bring something with a little bit of meaning to it and representing buffalo as a city. And you know the the cover that Juan drew for us. Okay, so All that's right. kind of where we went with that. And where where was this recorded? It was recorded at Mammoth Recording okay. Studios in Buffalo. That's not our only CD though. We okay. also have a live CD that's out, and we actually just got out of the studio about a couple weeks ago. Uh, we're we're going to be releasing some new material, but not for a couple a few Probably more months. January. But, okay, and this yeah. just came out. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. Where can people get this? Through us on the Facebook page or Instagram. Okay. Is it on Bandcamp or anything? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Or, co- uh, or come and see us live. All right. <laughs> it will be on iTunes and all that soon, just not yet. Okay. All right. Um, as far as lyrics go, how do, who writes the lyrics? I do most, most of them. Of them yeah. And uh, the last couple recording, or last recording, Jim wrote, I wrote one, one song. Brian wrote and one. Brian, Brian wrote. Where does the lyrical inspiration come from? <laughs> Try not to be political, but in the current uh, age, it's hard to not be. Right. But, I mean, it's, uh, you know, that that, and just, you know, this is my first band, so I have a lot of, I have 43 years of pent-up anger, so <laughs> <laughs> that, that helps a lot, too, you know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, so. Plus, we all got to work, so there's lots of yeah, heat yeah. working songs. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> what, uh, what about the music? How does that come together? <laughs> Sometimes I write songs on my own, but a lot of times me and Jim just get together. I'll play a riff and I'll say, put that there, there, and it just falls together real quick usually. Okay. Just come up to practice and there's five new tunes. You know, we'll yeah. get there like a minute early. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show, like I'll show up 10 minutes late and there's three new songs on the board. It's like, really? <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> um, 
So, uh, as far as live shows go, how far out of Buffalo have you played? <laughs> we played Brooklyn, Toronto, Columbus, Cincinnati, Chicago, Chicago. Chicago. Nice. What's what's been your favorite show so far? Cincinnati. 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 Yeah, that yeah. was that was the crowd was crazy. Went in Cincinnati, and they were insane. You see on the the G.G. Allen doll that's on uh, Jim's Jim's kit. That was a <laughs> that was a <laughs> gift. Was a, go check it out. It's a crocheted G.G. Allen doll, mm-hmm. little penis and everything. I don't know if I can say <laughs> yeah, that on the radio. <laughs> it lets the right. right? But uh, yeah, that was our parting gift when we left. We're like, oh, we have something for you. And she kid she came back out. She's like, here. Yeah, what? The? <laughs> so Gigi's been traveling with us ever since. He's right on the kid. It's uh, like we're, we're talking. Like, what people, is that? <laughs> we're talking people hanging from the rafters and yeah, like oh, wow. knocking oh, cymbals over. Yeah, it, was, it was it was insane. It was out of control. So it was like, yeah. That what, was, what's that was what's the awesome. weirdest thing that's happened to you playing live? Besides the Gigi Allen doll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stuff falling off the riser probably. Is the, <laughs> Chris falling off the stage in Toronto. Yeah, Chris oh, falling off the stage in Toronto. Yeah, there's a small little gap, and I'm like, ah, I don't, you know, I just don't fall through there. And I, well, I didn't fall off the stage. The stage was. <laughs> Two and a half feet high, step through and gracefully got in the pit, kind of step back on stage. So, was it falling off the stage? Though. Nice, <laughs> really. But I guess I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting right in their face for a second. Yeah. What, what? What? Um. What do you got coming up? Show wise? <laughs> We're playing a Buffalo show. In a couple of days, but then we're opening for a Cannibal Corpse. Oh, nice! And over Travis and Rochester. You know, I can I can hear a little Cannibal Corpse in your vocals. All right, right. I'll take oh, that. That's, that's all right. <laughs> Thank you very much. And you and you definitely. I mean, I saw a lot of grind shows up in Rochester and Buffalo back in the '90s and stuff. Yeah. And you have that feel. You, oh, there, you. There's that distinct Buffalo Rochester grind feel. I'll take that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> With a little cannibal corpse on vocals. Uh, I'll definitely <laughs> old, <take that. laughs> old cannibal corpse. Thank you, sir. So, uh, all right. Well, is there anything else people should know? Where's the best place to follow you? Facebook? Facebook. Facebook yeah, Instagram. definitely Facebook. We've got Instagram. an Instagram going and uh, Bandcamp. And, and, and okay. Things, so. But definitely Facebook. If you want to get in contact with us, if you want any merch or shirts, CDs, hats, all sorts of stuff. So Cool. cool. It's about Facebook and Either one of them, Jim or Brian, will take care of you. I'm mean, right. irresponsible. And, w- and there are any other shows other than the Buffalo one coming up? Dude, we're playing at an Italian restaurant this coming Thursday. <laughs> yes. It's called Casa di Francesca's. Yeah. Really? So I'm like, yes, yeah. I can't wait. Chicken Parmesan and blast do, beats. Do they oh, know yeah, what they do? You, do they know what you sound like? Uh, uh, yeah, they've had right. they've <laughs> had metal shows there. Oh, really? Then, but it's That's an all cool. it's an all grindcore show too, which is for actually Robert Peak's going to be with us. Oh, nice, nice. Right at dinner yeah. time, AK forty seven. Um, Following opposition. Yeah. Opposition. And then, but that Cannibal Corpse show on November tenth in Rochester with Hate Eternal in Harm's Way that wow. that is going to be just completely mobbed. Yes. I can't wait. Yes, it I is. Uh, December first, we're going back to Brooklyn and playing with Deceased. Oh, really? Right. That's December awesome. Yeah, yeah, December 1st. Okay. Yep, that's at St. Vitus. December 1st? It's a Saturday. It's a Saturday? Oh, yep. what day is it? Sorry. That's yeah. my birthday weekend. All right. Yeah, it's Tony's it's it's birthday it. weekend. Right, 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 right. What <laughs> album are aren't they doing a certain album? Yeah, they are. <laughs> Deceased is playing the whole Fearless Undead Machine. Yeah, that's right. On that show. Yeah. I love that record from that. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. <laughs> All right. So let's play something off your CD to, to close this out. Uh, is there something on here you didn't play tonight live? Yeah, what's inside? You know, what's that. inside? Okay, that's um, track three. Oh, that's easy. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> three. What, wait a minute. What's what's your longest song? Probably that one. <laughs> Probably that one. So two and a half minutes. What what's your shortest one? Thirty, 30 seconds. seconds. Thirty seconds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's pretty long for a grind song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. That, one's, that one's a cover kinda. Kinda. It's. It's like 10 seconds long. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, so back in the day when Immortal Terror was going, you know, I was a young kid, and uh, the guitar player and I, we'd get bored. We'd play Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, like four hours a day, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, religiously. Get, get out of, you know, we were in high school at the time, get off the bus, go right to the band space and just jam. That's nice. it. So uh, on weekends, we'd be bored. So, hey, you want to go jam? You know, we just want to mess around. So him and I got together. And uh, we basically wrote eight songs, just him and I. And uh, I did drums and sang. 
quote unquote. <laughs> there, were, there were no lyrics. I just made like noises, burping noises, and growled and, and whatever. <laughs> yeah, I did vocals, but uh, he played guitar and bass. And uh, it, right after we recorded that, he became ill actually, and he had uh, cancer. And he, uh-huh. uh, while he was in the hospital, we listened to those old recordings, and uh, we dug up one song. Um, before he got sick, Brian and I, my other son actually, who wasn't here, and Jeff, we got together trying to resurrect that band mm. just as a fun right, side right. thing kind of thing. But then uh, he's in another band, so they started doing their thing, and we just kind of fell by the wayside. He then got sick. Um, so while he was in the hospital trying to figure out what was going on or whatever, we learned the 10 second song kind of played it in his honor nice um he did actually pass in july is that who's inside yeah the... so jeff we dedicated that album to him yeah. so he's a very 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 good friend of mine and he's just um sorry right, right. Uh, no it's okay anyway. all around great guy he was yeah he's a great guy sure all and right we dedicated that ct to him yeah there's a picture in here of him yep. and stuff yep very cool all right, this is What's Inside. What's this song about? <laughs> Chris, wrote <laughs> that. Chris wrote that one. No idea. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's an anti-racist song. We'll put it that way. All right. If you're a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Anthropic off their album Tatanka. This is What's Inside. Thank you guys so much for coming up and playing. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. us. Thanks for having us, for sure.